five thank you for following okay so number five hmm. do not be hasty with words or with commitments do not be hasty with words or with commitments think pray and seek counsel before making destiny defining decisions i'll take it again slowly do not be hasty this is the fifth lesson we learn from an overcomer do not be hasty with words and do not be hasty with commitments put that down first do not be hasty with words and do not be hasty with commitments think pray and seek counsel before making destiny defining decisions think pray and seek counsel before making destiny defining decisions this is a profound truth do not be hasty with words do not be hasty with commitments by the grace of God I've studied many successful people especially within the body of Christ and in ministry I found out that the older they get the more they place value on their words have you noticed that people speak faster when they are younger the aged treasure their words and sometimes they can be silent for very long but in their silence they are processing a lot of things young people are full of zeal and they can shout and say a thousand words and then find out they made a mistake they cannot recall again do not be hasty with words the bible says even a fool when he is silent is regarded wise many of us today have committed ourselves in lives and things and people to our pain because if only we were a bit patient we would have made better decisions is someone learning here's what the bible says in proverbs chapter 11 and verse 4 did i get that right i may have made a mistake i've missed somewhere my apologies do not be hasty with words or with commitments now let me explain a bit on that listen i wrote here that humans are largely interest motivated and self-centered you need to know this humans are largely interest motivated and self-centered that means in your entire lifetime you can count literally on the palms of your hands the number of people who will come to participate with your life and destiny not expecting anything in return humans are largely interest motivated and self-centered and nothing is wrong exactly with that except for the fact as you'll be learning further that because humans are self-centered in the presence of interest everyone is a saint did you hear what i said in the presence of interest everybody is a saint meaning provided i can see how i can benefit from this process i will usually be at my best you know people in truth when there is an awareness that their expectations are disappointed that's when you truly know who people are hallelujah do not be hasty with words do not be hasty with commitments like i said last week there are people who have made commitments even in church and they were hasty to make those commitments and it is now to their detriment and it is now to their peril if only herod was patient he would not have made such a costly statement to tell the girl because you have danced ask anything up to half of my kingdom how could he say that and the lady went and consulted and they said beautiful bring on a platter the head of john and because he was a king and he had spoken there are many of you who made hasty statements i will sponsor 10 of you from primary school till university and camera caught it we live in a social media age today 
after five years someone comes to review your commitment for you sorry sir just to remind you that um you are that philanthropist that we knew five years ago you promised these people that you pay their school fees for the rest of their life and now you are trapped in something you do not have the capacity to sustain there are things before destiny defining decisions pray think and then consult with wise people this is what made ordinary people to become overcomers they were not hasty with words when they brought a woman to jesus remember the story a woman who was caught in adultery the bible says in the very act of it and then the people say hey yes, you claim that you are sent from god this woman now has been caught in adultery what do you have to say watch jesus the overcomer the wise the bible says he sat quietly and he was writing on the ground I'm sure the people were impatient, boiling, hoping to trap him. If I were Jesus, I'm sure they would have caught me immediately. Maybe that's where they would have even crucified me. Because of careless statements and you would not have died a savior. You would have died a loser. You see that? He kept quiet and he was writing. And then he looks up from the residue of wisdom. He says, he who is without sin among you should cast the first stone end of discussion what's the effect of such wisdom the bible says and they were convicted from the oldest what kind of word do you say that from the eldest to the last their conscience gets under arrest one sentence ladies and gentlemen from the oldest because the older you are the more you need repentance and forgiveness and so from the oldest to the youngest and the Bible says they left and the woman was standing alone there and he says woman where are thine accusers and then he said had no man condemned thee and he said go and see no more that was it there are many times that before you make the business decision can I tell you the moment people want to rush you there is most likely deception around the corner let me give you this as a powerful secret the moment just sign don't worry you will read it tomorrow you just sign is it not me you don't trust me again are we not from the same village tell them please anything that is so there are few things that demand that kind of urgency very few things maybe life and death issues i can agree but most cases are not life and death issues is just deception and so you sign something and they say thank you and you know sometimes when people are about to deceive they are polite they are very nice say don't worry we are very nice and as soon as you sign it and stamp it then you realize you just sign that for every other thing you will get 30 percent of it will go to that company whether you have left them or not can you imagine that a construction company comes and because they are trying to give you this you sign and stamp and they tell you if you leave the construction company and you sell the house to someone else to the tenth person that occupies the house you will still be remitting to the original person you didn't look at it you just signed it's after five years they will come with a lawyer and with your signature you will argue and argue and still pay in the name of Jesus whatever wants to rush you unnecessarily god gives speed but he does not rush men please listen to me god gives speed but he does not rush people unnecessarily this is also true for ministry don't feel you are too anointed to wait for god and you commission yourself and crash land for nothing and beware of those who deceive you and tell you look you are too anointed to be in this state you are still a prayer warrior in the prayer department if i had half of your anointing i would be a general overseer and you say really i even have an extra auditorium we can start from there reminds me of what happened after our first crusade in this ministry true story we usually hold our crusades in collaboration with the pfn and so after the crusade it was a small crusade but it was a, a quite a phenomenal one and did you know that after that there were a few pastors true story they called me and they said look would you want to come and establish a branch of your ministry there say breakthrough god is my witness 
it looked very tempting. I mean, they were sincere people. They said, no, no, no. With this kind of result, I think you should be here. And I told them, I said, let me go to the Lord and inquire of him. I remember, I will use the direct words. The Lord told me if I did that, I would die. It was not causing me. I am looking from, from hindsight now. The level of ignorance that I had in my life at that time, if I had made a mistake of branching out, it would have been a disaster to my, to my, my peril. In 2013, I think it was, remember the vision that I saw a plane and it was written the name of the ministry, ENI. It was about to land in Abuja and it crashed. I knew that it was in the will of God to come here, but it was not the timing yet. I submit to you by the Spirit of God, and some of the people who did this are following watching now. There are people who have opened offices for me across a number of nations, and by the Spirit of God, I politely requested, I told them, please, I appreciate your zeal. I know that you are taking a step. I appreciate your initiative, but please, can you help me and close it? Can you look at open doors? and still know that this may not be God that opened it. I told you, even the prison, you enter the prison through an open door. It takes an open door to be in jail. So when a door is open, verify where you are going first so that you don't find yourself in a prison because even a prison has a door. Hallelujah. Do not be hasty with words. There are times you need to tell the people, all right, no problem. Please, can you allow me a day? Let me think about it. And sometimes in the place of prayer, the Holy Spirit will tell you, call so, 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 and so person. Call so, 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 and so person. There are many people with all due respect who have been scammed because they were hasty with commitments. You just saw some email, for instance. You know, most of these boys do all those things. You just won 20 million US dollars, 10 million US dollars. And the devil will program it immediately after miracle service. And you will just believe. You see, this is why ignorance is not good. God does not bless people that way. There is a system for growth. Line upon line. Precept upon precept. If you have not managed 100,000 with dignity, God will never give you a billion just like that. He loves you too much to kill you. Hallelujah. Have you ever been blessed in a way that you are now afraid of what you had? You suspect yourself, you suspect your wife, you suspect your children. The way you are behaving, people know something has happened in your life because you are not normal again. You are not used to that realm and you did not grow into it. Why is this door suddenly locked? What is your business? I say, ah, no, something must be there. I release grace upon you. Do not be hasty in making commitments in the name of Jesus Christ. Joining associations, joining clubs, becoming part of whatever, relocating even sometimes, and then moving from one region to one region. Perhaps you were in a region in Abuja that was manageable, your budget was fair and fine on that, and someone just tells you, there's an opportunity here. I can support you for the first year. How about the other years? And you did not think about it there are times you maximize moments but can i tell you you are never disadvantaged if you have to pray before you act you are never disadvantaged if you have to seek counsel before you act even if in the process of praying thinking and seeking counsel you miss that opportunity i can tell you god for his name's sake will recycle another season to honor you again this is god for you hallelujah Someone comes and says, I want to marry you. You don't find out anything. You don't pray. Uh, I want to marry you, but I'm coming from a family of witches and wizards. No problem. Look, I'm supposed to be the next priest. It doesn't matter. And you don't think, what am I getting into? Do I have the stamina to stand against the forces? Now, I, I can tell you can be victorious, but it's important to count the cost. I'm the only Christian out of 30 people. We are 43 in our family. I'm number 39 no problem i still love you like that and and most people don't think i hope you get what i'm telling you now and then people make all kinds of rash and careless decisions and they may have to spend their lifetime paying that price 
Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus, I obtain grace to pray. I obtain grace to think. I obtain grace to seek counsel before taking destiny defining decisions. Hallelujah. I struggled with the Lord for three years when he began to speak to me about moving from Zaria. I wasn't sure whether I was going to Joss or coming to Abuja, but I just knew that the season had wrapped up. Now, there are times where you stay unnecessarily long. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm just saying that it's important that you stay with God. And when you are convinced and you get a matching order, then you can take that step. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Do not be hasty with words. Someone calls you and says, we're looking, we want to raise one billion. And we need 10 people or 100 people who will bring 10, 10 million. We know you have the capacity. And you feel motivated by that accolade. And you say, I'm in. In fact, add me three people's spots. <laughs> and then eventually when you are not able to redeem it and they ask you why, you say, I was expecting some money you would have been patient all right I'm, I'm i'm interested in this but would you just allow me you know let me discuss perhaps with my wife my children there are people who have sold properties their wives did not know their properties the major property that god has put as a a refuge for the family true story i remember someone who reached me one time and they noticed that there were some members around their land you know going around and thanking God true story and and the woman became the, if I'm joking I'll tell you I'm joking they were going around singing praises around the land and you know the woman was concerned do you know that one of their sons you know these boys I'm in the name of Jesus may you have good children this boy went being that he was the only son unknown to them that he had negotiated with a church now i don't blame the church he came as as by his, his, his land his late father's land and he negotiated everything with the church gave them at a discounted price they were happy and they transferred money to the guy's account the mother did not know no other person knew and the boy was just happy they're not knowing so the woman the woman saw the people rejoicing it was their property they had paid for it but the gentleman just felt, if I tell these people, they will close my door. And most likely, you will be surprised. You will think because it's a lot of money to be used well. When the waster lands upon your life, even one billion will vanish like ten naira. I am telling you, have you seen people go down from grace to grass? Minus you in Jesus' name. <laughs> Hallelujah. Number five, do not be hasty with words. Do not be hasty with commitments. Think, pray, seek counsel before making destiny-defining decisions. You can't call me and say, Apostle, should I wear a yellow cloth or a white cloth? No, that is not a destiny-defining decision. No, that's unnecessary. But there are certain destiny-defining decisions. Are we together now? Are you ready for number six? Number six. I want you to listen to this one. 